Good morning, Facebook. Hey, honey, it's Belle. Welcome to Valtopia. We got a good one today. Oh, we got a good one today. And I'm going to relax into it and let you guys come on. And we're going to share this. And we're going to have a good one today. Because it's, um, it's been a few days since I've done a big old live stream. I didn't feel very well. Um, I had my cycle and I was in pain. And I came on live, but I wasn't in the place to serve and be present with everybody. But I am now, honey. So say hello. Hey, Debbie, how are you? We're going to do a good one today. So let me share this around. You share it around. Let's get some people on here, okay? <clears throat> Tell me what you've been up to. And I've got a couple things to share with you, and then we're going to get into it. Where is this thing? I'm trying to find it. And happy, what day is it? Wednesday? Happy Wednesday. How are you, Debbie? What's happening? <clears throat> we have a really good topic today. Um, it's so it's so pertinent for us high achieving, visionary, creative messengers, perfectionists, artists, creators. It's really, really vital. So let me share this. Debbie says, I'm good. Deb, okay, Deb. Um, thank you, I just painted this um, the other day and I'm painting more, which feels really good. So I'm gonna share this in Valtopia if you're not already part of my free group. Get in there, honey. And um, let's see, take my time. I always get like I need to go really fast and it's like, you know what? Let's just share. Oh, it says we're not allowed to share my link. That happened to me yesterday on Instagram too. Getting ready for meditation class. Oh cool, it is acrylics. I have a story about this painting actually to tell you, unless you're zipping off to class. Interesting, I tried to share my thing with my link and it won't, with a bit.ly link. Deb, have you seen that happen? <clears throat> not allowed to share our links anymore, huh? Well, okay, then let me not share with my link and see what happens. Say hello if you're just joining. Say hello, honey. Let me share to my page. Can you hear the music? My little morning jazz. Hello, hello. Sharing to my timeline. Taking out the links. What? Crazy. What, do all the links have to be inside of Facebook now? Is that what we're doing now? Come on. So, um, let's see. Let me focus as we call in our friends. Ooh, I'm already feeling throat chakra. Who's on here? Hi, Tina, how are you? You like the music? Thank you. Yeah, Facebook keeps changing on us. And do you know what? That's okay, we know what to do. We know how to jump on the fly and move it around. All our content's on our website anyway, right? Right? You have your stuff on your, face, your website anyway, right? All right, let's see if this link works. So no bit.ly links goes against their policies. What? I'm glad you're doing well, Tina. I'm doing so much better. Um, I was feeling very, um, let me share this couple more places, honey. Uh, and I'm sending this out in a, oops, now that, let's see, join us live, share the stream. All right. Ooh, my laptop is so hot, it's like burning my leg a little bit. What's up with that? Okay, and then do we do a, let's see, I'm gonna click this button. Morning messages, okay. Okay, honey. And now it's gonna come on in here. There we go. All right. Who's ready for the messages? Good morning, everybody. Say hello. So I want to read something to you before we get into today's topic. Because 
it's awesome and I'm super excited and uh, I just want to say you're ready Tina's ready she's like I'm ready honey I want a few more people to come on so that they can hear the message too oh my goodness it's my dad's birthday today I gotta call him and say happy birthday dad so um, welcome welcome to the Valtopia TV show it's really a session. All of my shows are sessions. We do energy, we're reading cards, and we're delivering messages. I am a messenger, I'm an artist, I'm a, I'm an, um, um, <laughs> why am I stumbling over my words? I'm a mindset mentor, an energy guide. I help people get back to their core essence and bring through what they're meant to do, right? And that's what I do too, and I, I share my journey pretty authentically because um, how else are we gonna learn, right? And so that's what I want to share with you today. I have an incredible experience coming through on Friday, and I want to read something to you that I wrote to those of you who are meant to be in this experience, okay? So, <clears throat> Dream Like a Boss is a first-run Valtopia transformational experience for high-achieving, highly sensitive, creative, visionary, badass boss leaders, creators, entrepreneurs, and world-shifting messengers who deep down inside identify as rebels, dreamers, visionaries, star seeds, creators, and healers, okay? So those of you who identify with those names I just put and you're watching live or the replay, put what you are. are. Do you identify as a rebel, a dreamer, a visionary, a star seed, a creator, a healer, an artist? How do you fit into that? And, and are you aspiring to do that? Are you in the middle of doing it? Where are you? <clears throat> And you're looking for solutions to mind fog. Put what, what you identify with as I say it. Mind fog, inability to make decisions, overload or overwhelm of your senses, confusion, distraction, and sabotage when it comes to really healthy boundaries. Too many ideas, not enough time. <laughs> that one I was like. Stellar traits <clears throat> in some or many areas of your life and blinding resistance to typical tasks of life. Who identifies with that one? A lack of consistency, commitment, visibility, impact, reach, and self-awareness. Let me know which ones you identify with. Subtle subconscious self-sabotage. That one's really tricky, the subtle part. Let me know. Hello, everybody that's joining. I'm reading something I want you to say what you identify with. Cosmic connection. You know, you're looking for solutions to more connection with your spirit guides. Um, you feel like an empath, uh, you're looking for solutions to empath energy mastery. Um, you're releasing perfectionism and people pleasing. You're looking for solutions to speak your truth. Meditate, you're looking for better solutions to meditating, grounding and centering. Um, you're looking for more ways to creatively express yourself. I see you, Tina. And you're looking for powerful ways to write in your journal for powerful life-changing results. Who is putting their hand up and identifying with this and who wants me to read that again? Say hello. This is, this is channeled for you. I sat and I sat quietly for quite a few days. It took me about three weeks to really let this message come through. First, I got the download for the class and what it was, and then I spent two or three weeks feeling foggy and confused and like an ass, because I was tired and I was busy with my kids, and it was like before you're gonna have a baby and you can't move, and you're like, I gotta have this baby, but I don't feel right and it's not time yet. And then finally I had the baby and now I have the words to share with you and I wanna know if you identify with these. Let me know. Let me know. And then we're going to get into cards. So here's the rest of it. You may have had a very awake childhood and then you turned off your gifts. Who did that? If you're watching the replay, if you're watching, let me know. And they're coming back into your experience. And you want to integrate all of you into your life and shine a light on this experience for your tribe and your community. You may have recently had a spiritual or energetic awakening and you're reeling from all the shifts already, okay? You're much more aware of many more things than ever and it's overwhelming to manage. You'd like to channel through what is beginning to show up for you, but it feels scary. Let me know if this resonates for you. 
you're not quite sure how, or maybe you haven't even connected in yet and you'd like to have the ability to be able to meditate, to sit still, to focus in, and to hear with clarity your own best wisdom and guidance. I'm looking for a response here. You think you can't find a solution even though it feels like you've tried everything and you're doing everything and you're asking for advice and guidance and you feel like you're kind of spinning in circles a little bit. Doing and doing, achieving and being productive and learning so much, feeling kind of like it's a rat race or a hamster wheel and you can't keep up. How can you possibly expand to receive any more if this is what it is? Good morning, Joanna. Let me know if you resonate with this. And you know there's a way to tap into yourself to be organized and to focus in on what really matters to you. If only, all right, so who's identifying with this messaging so far? I'm not getting any comments. Am I missing comments on the watch party? Let's see, let me make sure. Nope, okay, here's the rest. Spinning in circles, yep, Tina's identifying. Okay, good Tina, I'm so glad you came on today. So here's what you think. Are you ready for this? You think you can't do things, you can't accomplish, because maybe you have family obligations or you blame the lack of time or money or energy or you don't know how. Um, the real reason you aren't breaking through this vicious cycle of your old patterns guiding you, even though you've learned so much and you've evolved so far beyond what's haunting you, do you wanna hear what the reason is? Who wants to hear what the reason is? Or who wants to guess the reason? It resonates, Joanna? Yeah. Okay. I know, I channeled for you guys. Oh, and if you missed the beginning, you're gonna have to go back and watch the rest of this if the, you're gonna identify with the rest that I read to you. So what is it that's missing? Why is, what is the real reason these patterns keep coming up? What do you think it is? I wanna know. What you think, yay. i am really been, this has been coming through. Tina's like, me. All right, it's a lack of faith. It's a lack of trust and faith. Ouch, that hurts when we hear that. You don't fully believe in yourself to show up fully for yourself. You don't trust in the divine abundance of flow and creation, like as if you're not a part of it. And the experience you've had so far, you think is an indication of all time and space going forward. You've have focused on the setbacks and not celebrated your wins and allowed the momentum of your expansion. Does this resonate? You've taken your challenges, you've allowed them to freeze your magnetism and you feel like things are not working at all like you know they have in the past or can, right? I know, we all do it. It's part of the balance of our internal mechanism and this state of being we're in now, this loopy feeling, it feels like it's endless and how do we get to the next level or get out of this state of being and someone's throat chakra is popping right now. Excuse me. We are always a choice away from returning to the flow of believing. And without believing and faith and clarity and conviction for who and what you are and desire to be, there ain't no passion or purpose or prosperity. Okay, the blocks trip us up. Once that's out of the way, faith is easier. Love your energy, Val. Well, we can clear blocks all day, so many blocks. And um, th this is what I'm getting into here, deeply, more deeply into the blocks because we are the block. We are the block, Deb. We choose to delay making choices and stay in the fog because we're afraid to grow. We're afraid of our own power and mostly we fear the unknown. It's literally stunning to move through some of the innate fears and limits we bring to our lives, both real and unreal. And many of us get pushed back from that stun and let it stop us. Do you feel me? Tina says, I do live and walk in high faith. I think I'm just impatient and want results faster. Well, that's still, you know, I'm gonna talk about this. I like what you put, I'm gonna talk about this some more. So it's where we get to change and tune into faith instead of fear. Because if you're wanting the results faster, you're doubting yourself, you're not trusting the process, and you are tuning into, um, all many of us when we get impatient, begin to tune into fear instead of faith, right? We begin to let our mind mull over and uh, tune into what isn't working instead of what is. 
So it can be a tricky road to turn into faith. The road less traveled, the road that leads back to you. Your truth as tuned into your best and highest energy and focus. Your faith that will be there for yourself. You will do the work, you will show up and you have decided to follow this or better and allow your vision to come in and unfold. It can be so easy until you feel the other side of what you've been afraid to decide, shift, and allow. It can feel impossible. And that feeling is precisely what this work can shift for you when you show up and do this fully. So this is what we're doing for six weeks in my course. We are um, getting, we're gonna have audio visual recordings, live streams, card spreads, um, and a focus curriculum that I just delivered through yesterday. It's coming in, it's so powerful. You know, I've invested thousands of dollars and so much of my time to get over my blocks and my own limitations. Um, because let me tell you, you know, I come from um, a background where those old fears and those programs run deep. And no matter how tuned in I am to my own highest energy and my cosmic visionary creative guidance, which I've pursued my art from a young age, but even now I'm still releasing and uncovering stories and programs that, um, that want me to question my own faith in what I know deep inside, right? So I've developed this amazing curriculum with sound frequencies and toning and light language and um, exercises and journaling prompts and focus. And when I say journaling prompt, I, journaling prompt, I know some of you are going, ah, I don't want to journal. And I was like that too. So I'm here to help those of you who feel like you can't meditate, you don't know how to journal, and you're too high up here, and you're not quite sure how to bring the magic down into here. You're impatient, you're waiting for results, you want faster results, you want it to happen now. And in the meantime, you're just getting caught in this loop of creation that doesn't feel very creative. Do you identify with that? So the, the, the link is in the comments, I believe, and we begin on Monday. And the early bird was all the last few weeks. So you could go sign up. I have an amazing bonus for those of you who sign up. Just message me if you wanna know about that. Um, it's a kick-ass bonus, and if you'd signed up, you'd get hundreds of dollars worth of this program um, bonus for you. So let me know what you think of this. I love, if you just tuned in, um, I want you to go back and hear the beginning and, and let me know if you're watching the replay, if you, it, how you identify with these things. So, ooh, everybody dropped off. Time for a new crew to come in and for some readings to begin, right? So, I feel the resistance to this message coming through right now. I feel a lot of tight throat chakra. And I see um, like Tina saying, I live in faith, I'm just impatient. No, really, like if you tune in to why, um, why we let go of our truth and why we spin around in confusion or anxiety, if you really look into it, it does come down to a certain part of you that's tuning into the old story that it can't work or how is it gonna work or what do I do instead of I'm doing this, I have decided, it's happening no matter what, no matter how long it takes and I'm continuing to go forward in that energy. Does that resonate? All right, so here's today's topic beyond that one because that was a really powerful topic right there. Converting shame to shine. Who wants to hear about today's topic? I feel like I need to share more places. Am I missing anybody on the... Thank you everyone who's watching. I'm looking to see if there's anybody commenting on the uh, watch party. <laughs> All right, so... I wanna pull some cards on today's topic and, and let them tell the story of what I'm telling about converting shame to shine and who knows. Hi Lily, how are you? Who knows what I'm talking about? And Lily, go back and watch the beginning because I read through my, what I channeled through for those of you who are meant to be in Dream Like a Boss. It's the first run of it. It's a foundational program. It's gonna happen again. 
this is the best price you'll get it for. So come into it now. It's incredible. It's always fun to be the one in the first program because it's like you get to shape the beginning of it. Um, so. so who identifies with uh, feeling shame coming up, you know, as we grow and as we um, ask for more, as we decide to stand up as way showers, as visionaries, as artists. I mean, artists, especially musicians, we come with such shame ready to pop in our DNA because we're here to express deep emotions and um, frequencies. And inevitably, the basis of converting some of these frequencies is gonna be converting shame to shine. And the shame is debilitating for some of us and stop so many of us from moving into our shine. Who can identify with that? And I'm gonna start pulling some cards here. Doobo, 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 ba, 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 ba. Look, it's telling me to go for a walk, nature walk. I didn't go do my beach yet. I'm gonna to go to the beach in a little bit. <laughs> I thought, I'm coming on first today because it's kids o'clock today and I wanted to, um, I want to feel smooth and easy and on time. Hi, Nelly, how are you? Look at this, my, my cards are talking to me. They told me to go on a walk and journal. And how many of you feel really great about your journaling practice and your ability to connect with yourself and give yourself directions each day that are like beyond basic, they're boss level directions? Who feels that? And if you don't, who wants to feel that? Hmm. Hey, Nellie, how are you? Nellie, I've got a good new class, kick-ass class. How you been? Tell me what's been going on. So, <clears throat> oh yeah, third eye, find your magic. Lily says, yes, a narcissist friend attacked me for my blessings in li my life when I finally had enough. Yeah, 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 many of us who um, are shiny and empathic, attract control or controlling people in our lives. Um, part of it is a protection, you know, it keeps us from having to shine, keeps us from having to go, oh, well, my husband won't let me or my mother won't let me, so meh, right? And then finally we push through and we learn that the controlling person was actually a wonderful gift to teach us to stand up for ourselves and believe in ourselves, right? Um, Tina, what do you wanna feel? You wanna feel the converting shine, shame to shine? Um, you let it get to me, Lily. Okay, yeah, you tried to dull your shine. Okay, so nobody else could dull your shine. And if, it, if you let it get to you, then just be grateful that you're being offered another opportunity to move through that, that experience of backing yourself and believing in yourself and shining, no matter what shame people are throwing at you. Oh, being a boss every day. Yes, Tina. Well, listen, there are so many amazing techniques, energy shifts, mindset awareness, journal prompts, art methods of little daily pivots that bring you back into your shine and make you feel like a boss every day. And that's what we're doing in Dream Like a Boss for six weeks together. Six weeks! When, when my divine download came in, I was like, six weeks, that's a long time. And I, and I started to change it to six days. And I was like, no, <laughs> they said six weeks. Six weeks, six weeks. Lily says, I love my shine. You stood your ground. So let me tell you something, Lily, about standing your ground with um, narcissists. If someone is a, has a tendency to attack and like, uh, what's the word? Um, what am I looking for when they throw little napalm bombs of bullshit and try to work you up? You know what I'm talking about? What's that called? Um, gaslighting, if they do the gaslight and all that. The best thing that you can do is be as boring as possible. Here's where you want to get to, Lily, and anyone else that um, experiences um, shining and then getting narcissist or controlling or other people trying to dull your shine. 
The best thing that you can do is first of all, recognize that it's happening. Oh, how interesting. I'm getting a chance to shine and express myself in a way that feels good to me, right? And don't react. The biggest lesson I've ever learned as an empath, as a sensitive person, as a way shower, as an artist, as a creative, who must feel strong in my expression and also is still really sensitive on the inside and vulnerable and doesn't like criticism or want people not to like me, but has learned to back myself and stand up anyway, is to really just become so aware and not react to choose your reaction and it took me a lot of practice and now I've realized I've had quite a few situations where I recognize the thing is happening I literally like feel myself almost go up and outside the situation and then I stand up and I say I'm, I'm not doing this I'm not doing this I'm leaving and I, and I would leave the situation and still deal with the person but no, we're not going into that energy. I'm just not available for shouting or arguing or telling me I don't know what I'm doing or whatever, right? So Lily says it took me two years. I thought I was helping someone better themselves. Yeah, okay, so that's where it gets tricky, you know? Um, we, especially when we first start learning a lot of these wonderful techniques of healing and energy guidance and uh, um, support, you know, I did it too. It's like we want everybody to benefit from what's helping us so much and sometimes we start pushing it on other people, right? Or we go in um, and help without being asked or we, um, like you say, we, we just think we're helping someone. Just focus on yourself and let your overflow come from that, right? Focus on your own wellness and let that be a sign and if people want to come in, they will ask you and and don't give away your time unless it's completely given, you know, it's from place of overflow uh, or you're getting paid <laughs> or invited to, right? So look at these cards. We were being invited to take a walk. We have the third eye chakra and the find your magic. And so feeling like a boss every day, owning your shine, converting your sh shame to shine is about focus and allowing and backing your truth. And if you feel shame about the truth of who you've been, it's an opportunity to examine where you'd like to look at your beliefs and what happened and who you are and to let the shame go. And one of the biggest places that I've experienced shame as I evolve and do this work is, um, well, first of all, when I am in kind of a downtime of my um, cycle of being where I, a lot of my inner child and a lot of our um, former stories come up for review and when we're in that place we do feel like a little kid and we do feel very vulnerable and we do act in a way that can um, trigger shame and and then when we go to the people that we've either invested in or asked to help us and they actually call us on our shit it hurts right Thank you, Lily. Like it hurts, it's embarrassing, we feel embarrassed. We feel like, God, I can't believe I'm not perfect and I, I didn't get it right. And now I just wanna go away and crawl in a hole and, and then you'll see, you'll miss me, right? Do you ever get that one? <laughs> I'm just gonna crawl away and you'll see, you won't have any access to me and, and you'll see what you're missing. And then you realize, wait a minute, like this isn't about anybody else. This is my own story. And I get to, I get to uh, honor that I, I have these feelings and process these emotions and, and, and then release them, feel them in a safe way and then convert them into, okay, now that I've felt that emotion, now that I've expressed that, now that I've recognized that need, what do I need to do to shift this, right? So what are your, some of your methods of shifting out of shame? I would love to hear. And then I'm gonna do cards. So please share the live stream. Let's get this party started, hold on it. And this throat chakra, whoever's throat chakra is so tight, we need to, we wanna tune into that. And is Tina still here? Tina, would you like a card since you've been on and you wanna feel 
the conversion to a boss and I have never read you yet. Let's see who is making comments. Yay! It's interesting when I when I wrote that um, about finding the truth of what you're missing is faith and then to see the reaction and feel the energy reaction against faith um not against but that like no i i'm i'm good i'm faithful that's not the issue it's like no really you want to look into this because and it's funny because if you'd asked me to talk about faith a few years ago that wouldn't mean the same thing it does to me now i'm talking about faith in yourself not i mean it's it is faith in the all that is in abundance and um your vision and like yourself you know if we're in a loop of confusion and and shame and allowing that to guide us on some level there's part of you inside that just doesn't really believe you've got what it takes and it doesn't mean that that there are parts of you that do believe there's parts of you that don't so we need to address the parts of you that don't because that shit is running the show that's the point um tina's got a sore throat oh lily says i acknowledge that it happened accept it and take what i learned from it and moved on exactly exactly it's a gift you know that's the biggest thing that has catapulted and quantum leaped my experience of life is to yes tina is to um yeah one of the biggest things that has quantum leaped and accelerated my growth and receiving and shifting into a life that aligns to who i am is um taking when things happen that feel like this sucks or it's wrong or it's bad or it's hurtful and saying, yes, I'm so glad this is happening. I get to move through this thing that's been tripping me up. It's really powerful. All right, Tina, let's get into it. Let's get into it. I do need to pull from the diagnostic deck right here because I hadn't done for myself yet. And just throat chakra is just like a huge bubble just rolling around in the bottom there. Oh my goodness. Uh, let's see what we got. I'm gonna light some sage. I love it. I love it, honey. This is the card of last night and the card of the day. This is the surrender card. Surrender. How many of you feel um, you know, you feel great about your process of surrender? And for those of you who are impatient, surrender is the answer. Surrendering and surrendering is a process of admitting what you feel and letting uh, letting go and trusting that, that what you've decided is coming in no matter what. And sometimes that's a waiting game. And you continue to, when you're waiting for the thing to come through that you've decided, how you wait is the surrender and will determine what happens on the other side. No matter how much you think you've decided, it's the waiting part that is the experience of becoming into being the thing that you've decided. You know what I mean? Lauren, surrendering is your downfall. I know so many of us do so much and we're so talented and we're so created and we know what we're meant to do and we've decided and we've done, we've invested money and we've gotten mentors and we've been in circles and we've, you know what I mean? We've done all this stuff and we are still not feeling surrendered into what we've asked for and it can feel really hard, right? And it's really about learning techniques and processes to, to back yourself and believe in yourself. And that's what we're doing in Dream Like a Boss. And I found that when I'm doing life together in my masterminds and in my communities where um, we show up every day with each other and for each other, the process of surrender becomes a beautiful way of living. And we're coming into choice more fully each day and our our results are maximized because we're not left to our own little scary place of wondering and then questioning and the ego brain messing with all the uh, energetic strides we've made and created for ourselves, right? How does this resonate? All right, I'm so glad the surrender card came up. So now we're gonna tune into Tina. I'm gonna tune into Tina. And look, Lily is so sweet replying to Lauren saying it can be hard, you got this. Let's ask why it can be easy. Why is it easy? Why can it, how is it, you know, why is it so easy and how do I feel when it's easy? 
It's all about shifting. Um, and ah, this is a big one too. Forgiving yourself. Don't be so hard on yourself because that is just a whole bunch of resistance slowing you down. Lauren says, my spirit is always ahead of my body. My physical hates to let go and that's where the struggle begins. Lauren, I would love for you to consider working with any of my offerings because I so understand you and you identify as one of us because we are a lot in our head and our spiritual energy is very strong and we have so many creative ideas coming through and so much connection to the cosmos. And then we have this body that we haven't fully, for whatever different reasons, we all have different reasons, whether it's trauma or um, you know, illness or whatever, um, we don't allow that to come in fully into our vessel and ground. And then we, we, we just live this dichotomy of all this stuff going on in our body trying to catch up, right? And it can be frustrating. And so this is where um, the work that I do is we're talking and we're learning and then we're listening to audio and we have sound frequencies and we have color frequencies and we have energetic frequencies and all of it comes together to, cook, to integrate your body with your mind and to allow instantaneous results and then to learn tools and tricks to keep you in that space of cohesion because that's really where we do get scattered and distracted and some of our energies over here and some of our energies over there and uh, we're thinking about the past and we're thinking about the future and we're holding on to this and we don't let go of that and I mean you know it's just all over the place right and that's why we feel confused and scattered and we don't quite know how to bring it through it's a process of bringing your energy together into your body grounding the energy learning how to ground more powerfully quickly learning how to center learning how to ride into creation each day what really feels good and if you can't face yourself in your journal then you've got to do this work because it for me a big part of why i wasn't writing in my journal was because there were parts of me that still felt shame and didn't fully believe in myself right you could clear that and that's the first thing we're doing in the first week is releasing shame to receiving guidance it's a really powerful clearing and a lot of other stuff clearing lauren says my um or joanna says if you're called for me that would be awesome yes so if you guys would love a card, um, who has shared the live stream? Tina's ready. Uh, let me take a sip. Ooh, this throat chakra's just popping. <laughs> Hi, Michael. All right, Tina, I'm ready for you now. Let me know when you feel me tuning in. You guys, one of the reasons I don't do card readings right around the, my cycle is because I just don't see with my eye as much the couple days when I'm in so much physical pain. And besides, you know, come on girl, I wanna take a break when I don't feel good. But um, I still show up, but I don't like to do readings when I have so much physical pain. It just doesn't seem right. And it doesn't, it doesn't work as well. <laughs> That's my time, I'm supposed to be quiet. Check it out. Tina, did you feel me tuning in with you? Thank you for sharing. Thank you so much for sharing, Lily. I appreciate you. And if new people are joining on, say hello. Hey, Nicole. And guess what? For everyone that signs up for Dream Like a Boss, I'm going to enter you in to win a print of this beautiful painting. Hi, Lauren. Oh, thank you, Lily. Okay. Nicole says can be distracting. What is distracting? Tell me. Ooh. So did you hear me? I'm going to make a print of this in my shop and everyone who bought, who purchases into Dream Like a Boss is going to be entered to win a print of this. Everyone who has, who's already in there or who's joining. And um, did I tell you guys what the bonus is today? The bonus, oh, the bonus is a, for a spot in um, the reboot next time we run. That's a $300 value. So you could sign up today, be signed up for the reboot, start getting clearings, start learning how to write in your journal, the pain, yeah, um, and be entered to win a print. All right, so Tina, is Tina still here? Tina. Thank you everyone for joining, I appreciate it. Thank you for sharing too. I'm looking for Tina. Tina, Tina. 
she's here and she's ready. Okay, Lily, the energy off of this is just like, ah, oh, I love it so hard. Um, I'm gonna read Tina and then I'm gonna tell you the story of the painting because I've made Tina wait long enough. <laughs> she's like, honey, I'm here and I'm ready. All right, Tina's ready. Okay, check it out. Um, let me tune in before I pull the cards with you. And let me know if you feel me tuning in. Yeah, Tina, I, I, they showed me monkey mind. Like, um, hi, Tony, welcome. Welcome to Valtopia. I'm Val. I'm glad you're here and I'm happy to read cards with you. Um, just share the live stream. Uh, so, um, and go back and watch the replay because I shared some really powerful messages. Uh, so, Tina, let me know if you felt me tuning in. I, Paul, there you are. Paul, the group is ready. Come and join the group. Okay, we, we're still in pre-work though. You didn't miss anything. I'm sure you've been feeling the frequencies running and I got the whole curriculum in for the next few weeks and Rosie's setting up the membership, um, more videos in there and it's kick ass. So Paul, go sign up, it came through your email. All right, so Tina's feeling me. Okay, cool. So this is you, Tina, this, this um, tightness in your throat and, um, that you know they showed me like the monkey mind so how are you with your meditation tina how are you with getting quiet and really tuning into your own wisdom and guidance how how would you rate that from zero to ten where ten is like oh i'm jesus i'm the boss i'm all buddha style up on my meditation and zero is like oh girl i need some help bad let me know okay paul I tried to message you, but it looks like you didn't receive the message, so I just didn't want you to miss out. Now, Paul is one of our D-Lab entrants, and I'm so excited. Everyone that's in there is so cosmic and super highly aware, and it's very exciting what's happening. Tina says a four. Okay, I feel that. I feel that. So part of this is, is um, like uh, when we don't want to sit still with ourselves, and when we don't want to um, be quiet and tune into the messages, I can feel all this energy right here where it's like, you kind of don't want to um, admit the truth to ourselves, you know? Tina says, I've meditated the last two nights to fall asleep and it's great. Awesome. Do you, when you're fall, doing your meditation to fall asleep, do you run the energy through your body? Do you guys know how to like, like when I wake, I tune in and I feel like there's a lot of energy sort of trapped here in my sleep or whatever. And I, oh, I let it all go down and release. Let fresh soul energy come through, right? All right, so check it out. Your first card here, Tina, is meditation. Look at that. Your first card is meditation. And it's so good that you're doing the meditation. You're preparing to receive. You're opening up like you're receiving a reading and energy guidance and love from me today after two nights of meditating. So if that doesn't motivate you to meditate, I don't know what will, right? <laughs> um, so you wanna surround yourself with positivity so that you can express this. Are you able to speak the truth to yourself and others? This energy is so painful and tight. Um, and you know, when we don't open up this passageway, you might be receiving a bunch of information in your crown and it's not coming through. It's getting stuck right here. You feel that? So we need some self-love and care to let you open up into who you are, to trust that it's safe for you to express who you are, mostly to yourself, right? So do you, you, do you tell yourself the truth about what you need? Do you take inspired action? Um, you're going through ascension, you're coming up, and it says challenges resolved in your favor. So that's your reading. I'm gonna pull you um, a question card to go with that. Let's see what comes through. Journal prompt for you. And thank you for letting me begin with you. Ooh, I love these questions. Why am I wealthy and why can I choose? <laughs> Absolutely. Why am I wealthy and why can I choose? How does that resonate in that tight throat that you can be wealthy, Tina? How does that feel for you? I know you were saying, I wanna feel like a boss every day and your level of meditation bossery is four. 
Well, that's what this energy is about. Like you may think you're telling the truth and you're getting some meditation on, and then there's like this whole nother level of you that's like, oh, Tina, come on now. We have way more to do. <laughs> How does that resonate? How does that resonate for you? Thank you, everyone. It's great to be with you this morning. Look, it's only 825 and I'm already on here with you. We have already started our readings for the day. Come on now. Okay, Lauren, I'd love to read for you. Um, thank you for sharing the stream. You guys can also go like my business page. I love it when you like my business page because then you know when I'm coming on live because I don't go on schedules. The schedule is the flow, the divine flow. Tina says, I know I can be wealthy and I have been, but work has been so slow and I'm ready for it to flow in fast again. I feel you. What are you doing to, um, uh, Tina, to call it in? What's your process of shifting out of a place that feels un misaligned to you and do you know what this arena of not being wealthy right now is teaching you? Those are some good questions. You lose your energy when you're not working hard. I feel you. Hi, Kanisha. Um, thank you, Lily. Um, okay, so Tina, I love, uh, answer those questions for me and let me know if, um, how I can support you to come back into your wealth because you're obviously being called to it, right? You got stuck. Yeah. Why do you think you got stuck? What, what, where was the mischief? And how can we get you out of feeling stuck? And I love getting people unstuck. I was stuck, you know? I've reinvented myself time and time again. And when every time it comes time to reinvent myself, I'm like, really, did we get here again? And yes, we do. It's a loop, life is a loop, a cycle loop, and we get to continuously express and move through our own patterns. We came to do and be what we are. Loss of energy, self-doubt, yes. See, that's what I was saying earlier in what I was reading. Can I read this to you again? Can I read this again, you guys? That was really good. Yes, Kanisha, please share the live stream. Um, you haven't had a reading in years, but you're coming back to your spirituality. Yay, Lauren. Okay, um, all right, I'm gonna read for Lauren because she hasn't had a reading in years. Yay. And Tina says, family coming into my life and holding you back financially. I have to read this to you again, Tina. Are you ready? Can I read this again? Who wants me to read it again? Because it's so perfect and all of you guys are on here. <sighs> Dream Like a Boss is a first run transformational experience for high achieving, highly sensitive, creative, visionary, badass boss leaders, creators, entrepreneurs, and world shifting messengers who deep down inside identify as rebels, dreamers, visionaries, starseeds, creators, healers, artists, who are looking for solutions to mind fog, inability to make decisions, overload and overwhelm of your senses, confusion, distraction, and sabotage when it comes to boundaries. Too many ideas, not enough time, stellar traits in some areas of life, and blinding resistance to some typical tasks of life. Subtle subconscious self-sabotage, cosmic, uh, you know, looking for solutions to better connection to cosmic connection and spirit guides, empath energy mastery, releasing perfectionism and people pleasing, speaking your truth, meditating, grounding and centering, creatively expressing yourself and writing in your journal for powerful life-changing results. Right? This is what we're doing for six weeks together. Every day, every day. And the reason we're doing it every day is because you can get clearings and activations all day long. I'm the boss at that shit. It's natural, it's easy. You're getting one right now, hanging out with me. And then you go back to your life and your old habits and your old thought patterns come back in. You, you may have cleared the essential energy and feel a big catapult shift and you may even shift a little bit. And then the reflex of what's been familiar calls you back in and you think, oh, I just, I miss, I, that's me, that's me. And the reason we go into groups and have in-person activities or online virtual ongoing experiences is to catapult out of where you were or to move through what was and to really allow what is, to let go of what was and to allow what is. Because what is is right here with you all the time. And the reason we're not seeing it 
we lack clarity. All the things that I just mentioned, mind fog, we're not making decisions, being overwhelmed, comes from needing a very beautiful, powerful daily process of connecting into soul and clearing the shit, right? Who has an, a kick-ass daily process of clearing the shit, connecting to soul, writing into creation, and manifesting like a mofo out of it, like a boss? Who does? Who does? Because that's what we're doing. All right. Lauren, is it Lauren? I'm ready for you. And thank you, Tina, for opening up. I'd love, I, welcome to Valtopia, and I'm grateful for you and would love to support you when you're ready. Um, thank you, Colleen. Thank you. I appreciate you. And everybody that wants a reading, just share the live stream, and I'm getting to Lauren now. It's Lauren's turn. And I'm going to need to clear out this throat chakra because it's quite painful. You're welcome, Tina. This is a, like an old bunch of energy. And so with your family, with the situation, whatever it is that's keeping you from doing or being who you really feel you are, nobody is doing that but you. And you're allowed to make up new rules about what you will and won't be available for and what your boundaries are. And if that's troubling to you or you're not quite sure and you need support, that is what we're doing in Dream Like a Boss. Because when you find a daily practice coming back to yourself, it is about boundaries, right? It is about establishing boundaries and standing up and backing and believing in yourself and having faith all the way that, yeah, you are going to do what you've set your mind to. And now let's do this. Let's do this no matter what. I'm going to decide. And this is the support I need to bring this through. And, oh, my God, on the other side of six weeks, I'm a completely different person and I'm going to do this, and I'm going to have an airtight boundaries container to manifest what I've been guided to, because nobody else is going to bring through what I've been meant to, right? Ooh, that cleared my throat chakra right there. All right, ready? Let me just do a little bit of light language here. all the time <laughs> okay all right Lauren I'm ready for you Ooh, I'm getting hot we're channeling we're channeling let the channeling begin let's light some sage too because 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 and Lauren's getting ready probably already feeling me coming in let's see what we got I love hanging out like this with you guys if you don't see me, it's because I have no, post-it notes of whiteboards everywhere over there. You can't see it, but I have boss organization happening. Dream like a boss is kicking my own ass. My own classes kick my own ass. <laughs> That's amazing. All right, I'm tuning in to you, Lauren. Let me know when you feel me tuning in. Lauren. Lauren, I feel you, yeah. So we got some throat chakra for you too. It's in a different part of the throat. It's some past, it's like in the past. Um, it's on the other side. You know, on the, I've been feeling it so much on this side for myself as I move through some really deep-seated fears and stuff. And this is interesting. This is on the other side of the throat which maybe indicates to like, let's see what else, what else is coming through. The energy is busy. There's a lot of like circular energy going on. It's funny that messages are coming in slow, honey. Um, Hey, <laughs> Lily's son said, what was that noise? You guys have to go back and watch the live stream from last week. I was toning like that and a dog across the street started howling. <laughs> I need to go and find that clip and just pump it out everywhere because it's really hilarious. Um, okay, so Lauren definitely felt me tuning in. All right, so the first thing that I saw when I tuned in was train tracks. And usually when I see an image like that in my third eye, 
then the word come in to tell me what the message is. And I and train tracks is something that comes up before. Um, right now the message is kind of like, I mean, sometimes train tracks can mean like you're afraid the train's leaving without you and you wanna be a part of it, you know? Um, but it can also mean like, Repetition, the word repetition is coming in, like you're kind of doing what everybody else is doing and you're not doing what you want. Is that right? Does that resonate for you? All right, so, ooh, yes. I love it. I'm gonna show you what these are. Oh my God, you got all the chakras. <laughs> Check it out. Okay, so the first card coming up is find your magic, Laura. Find your magic and find your faith, okay? And the reason, the, the way that you're being guided to find your magic and to find your faith and to tap back into your faith is to get into action. How does that resonate for you? Lauren. Hi, Jess. Hi, Candy. Hey, everybody. We got a little crew going here. I love it. Welcome to Valtopia, honey. And if all of you want to come into my free group, Valtopia, and bustle it up in there, please do. So Lauren, how does that resonate for you? Find your magic, find your faith, get into action. And if those of you who are together on this energy are like, oh my gosh, we wanna be in Dream Like a Boss with Val, let's do it together, would you please all message me in a group message? Don't miss this opportunity. I'm all about us growing together. Um, it does for sure, the daily hustle is just the same, yeah. Thank you, Candy, I just finished this. Oh, I was gonna tell a story about this. Do you guys wanna hear the story about the painting? Lauren says it does, I'm coming back to my faith for sure. Yeah, and you know what? We lose our faith because we get you know, knocked off and we get tired and we get sick and we get overwhelmed. And here's what the, the whole live stream was about, you know, moving, converting shame to shine. And here's where I want you to forgive yourself and no, here's where we get stuck, especially those of us who are so highly sensitive and we're perfectionists and achievers. When we get knocked off, right, because of sickness or because of family or our boundaries are compromised, we let our boundaries be compromised, don't we feel shame? And here's what happens. Um, yes, I love to chat all day, it's cool. Um, here's what happens. Many of us go into this place of shame and slow ourselves down and berate ourselves and we don't forgive ourselves and we get confused and we get overwhelmed and we get nervous and we get into the state of being that will not attract and move us forward and back into our faith. So it's essential that you find ways to keep coming back into your faith, to keep reminding yourself of why you're doing this and what you do believe in and how you're going to be coming through. And I love all the energy happening with your crew. I love your crew. Y'all are so lovely. Um, so, uh, let's see. Here's what else came through for you, Lauren. So, oh, here's what I want to say about getting into action, Lauren, and finding your magic and finding your faith. Many of us get caught in a long loop of feeling impatient and wishing we were moving forwards because we don't take action. We don't take inspired action. When I say that you're not feeling into your faith, it means that you're missing cues all day, every week, that your soul is saying, now do that, do that thing. And we go, oh, I wanna do that thing. And then we go, but I can't, I, I can't do that. I, I can't do that. It's too much, it's too this, I don't have time. So let me just keep going. Let me just get the shit done that I have to get done. Get, what's gonna happen there? What happens when you do that? What happens when you time and time and time again don't listen to yourself and take the inspired action that might scare the fuck out of you but will bring you back to your magic and your faith? You do the opposite. So little by little every day, what are you doing? You are creating shame for yourself because you're telling yourself, nah, yeah, you have this whole guidance compass system that's telling you what to do, but nah, that's just nah. We don't need to listen to that. We'll listen to my dad, or we'll listen to my mom, or we'll listen to my husband, or we'll listen to this lady on the... <laughs> You've got to feel like the more and more inspired action you're taking, the inspired action is bringing you back into your faith. And 
this is the, the most powerful way to manifest and shift your life back into resonance for yourself is to take this, this inspired action um, that will put you in a place where you do find out your faith and you do, you're like, oh my gosh, I'm on the, I, I like walked out beyond where is the pathway under my feet. And you don't say, oh my God, where is it? And run screaming back to the cliff. No, you go, no, I'm, I'm moving. I'm going to take this action because, you know, no matter what, I'm going to find a way to put my foot down and step forward. So it's coming. So there better be a step there because I'm coming. I am coming. That is what faith is. That is what faith is. When you take inspired action, it freaks you out. Um, but that you know is meant for you. You prove to yourself that you believe in yourself. <clears throat> and that comes from clear cognizance. Kanisha, I see you asking for a reading. Listen to the readings that are coming through right now. I've mentioned that I'm going to read for you, and I'd love to share the live stream. And then that's it. Like, wait for your reading and listen to this reading. Don't miss this reading for thinking your reading is just about you. This is about you, too. If you're on this live stream, it should resonate. Lily says, I've been missing you, Lauren. I feel like we connected again to get you back in the place. That's great. Yay. So listen, the clear cognizance is what is going to bring you back into your faith. You want to take inspired action from the knowing. And you want to get into a place of where, of where you're fit and you're nourished and you're clear so that your clear cognizance is just so sharp and clear for you that you, you do speak your truth to yourself firstly and then to others. You feel safe and grounded so that all that amazing information that comes through does pass through your throat chakra and grounds into the earth and you, you're safe with your boundaries. So Lauren, this reading is all about what we're doing in Dream Like a Boss. If you don't feel solid on these techniques and tools for yourself, I would love to guide you. Welcome in if you're feeling it. Um, six weeks of shaping this, but come back into yourself, feel. You know, if your solar plexus feels like somebody stabbed you, you need better boundaries. If you can't even feel your root, you need to learn how to ground and feel safe. If you can't feel the messages coming through, well, there's a good chance you need to open up and let all the energy pass through. So. How does that feel for you, all of that reading? Candy says, faith is believing in that which is not known to you yet. Once you take the leap of faith, then the belief in self grows. Yes, and you know, it is known to you. It's just that you don't get to see it all right in front of you, but you might see it here, you might know it here, you might feel it. All of us receive this information in different ways. It's about honoring what does come through you and knowing that that's for you and you'd have decided it's like how your joy is going to come through in your life and not continually repressing and suppressing what's true for you, right? Um, Lauren says, I've missed you. I had a really rough pregnancy and a really awful delivery. Yeah, it, well, it, I want you, it says it knocked you off of life's path. Lauren, I invite you to know that it's happening for you and to find what it is illuminating for you about yourself to build a stronger foundation of your journey, exactly, like Lily says. So you're welcome. And um, this stuff that, not, that feels like it knocks us off our path or takes us down, it's there to bring us back into alignment and feel closer to ourselves, right? And, and Paul, if you're still on the live stream, I just saw your email, Rosie will get you the link. Um, okay, let me pull a question card for you, Lauren, and then who, let's see who was next. I know Kanisha wanted a, lot, a reading if she's still on here. Um, but let me see who was next after. Excuse me, I just cleared that throat chakra. If you guys haven't watched me before, I do burp on my live streams um, to clear the energy. Lily, did you ask for a reading? I know you shared this to so many people. Are you next? And then Kanisha, if she's still here, I think. I think I did the right thing. Thank you, Paul. Paul signed up for Dream Like a Boss on the first day at the early, early bird. He was smart. Yes, look at us getting called to surrender time and again. Time and again. So surrender to your highest wisdom and trust and faith and know that everything that sucks right now 
is actually happening for you. And the more you can lean into it and trust that it's moving through and look at the emotions that are coming up for you and handle the boundaries that you're being offered to be tested and pull more of your beautiful soul energy into this experience here, the more you'll see that reflected back to you. Okay? Yes, Joanna. All right, let me do Lily. So I've got Lily, Joanna, Kanisha, and then I'm probably gonna need to start my day, right? Um, okay, so Lily, I'm gonna tune into you next. Man, we got some pop and throat chakra in this crew. Y'all really need, wanna be benefiting for some of, I have free and paid clearings for all of this kind of energy. And I'm gonna be bringing through Paul um, and those of you watching that are already in D-Lab and that are gonna join D-Lab, I'm asking to receive a, a clearing at the beach today to clear fear and anxiety around abundance and money and bringing in money. So that's gonna be part of the D-Lab curriculum today. And there's so much coming through. I'm also including my epic video Rockstar Training in the D-Lab because that was such a powerful clearing that I created two years ago, or 2016 actually, to help people like us get over our fear of going live in video and sharing our message, because that shouldn't stop anybody. So, okay Jess, thanks for sharing um, the live stream and liking my business page, all of you. That way you know when I'm coming on. All right, I'm gonna tune into Lily. <sighs> Just clearing this energy. All right, Lily, are you ready? A lot of energy coming through now. Lily, you just got one card. Hi, Maria, hi, Candy, hi, everybody. Check it out. Rituals and routines, Lily. What's your process of your daily clearing and activation for yourself and tuning into your messages for yourself and what you're gonna do and how you're gonna do it and how you do and be? What are your rituals and routine for yourself? And I find like I'm a busy person, I'm highly ADD, creative genius, I'm all over the place, I work in circles, I'm very like non-linear and um, my methods of tuning in are nothing like anything anybody's ever taught me. I do learn a lot from what I get taught and then I share for those of us that are super highly energized and spiritual and um, uh, really bringing through a, a cosmic energy that needs grounding. Self Reiki, okay. So do you have a process of of processing your emotions and feeling what's happening for you in your body as emotion and letting like letting that be sort of a, a way for you to tune in to what would move you forward and what might keep you back day to day. Let me know. All right, I'm gonna pull a question card for you. Yeah, why do I commit, Lily? Crystals, incense, sage, okay. So Reiki and crystals and incense and sage, I mean, I freaking love them. I don't do Reiki, I have my own method of energy. Um, that's just, I, I, um, I was activated to something called Shambhala Reiki, but, um, and it, it I, I just tune into the cosmic energy, universal energy and um, bring it through, but um, self-talk. So you wanna have a process beyond like, beyond the wonderful, benefits of sage and crystals and um, things. You wanna have a very powerful process of transmuting um, the energies and the emotions and having them be your guidepost because the, they're not just things to like bat away. Sometimes they are, sometimes we need to be like, okay, I see you fear, bye bye And other times you need to be like, huh, fear. What is this fear showing me? Where am I letting go? Where am I leaning in deeper? How am I gonna, push into that and actually come through the other side and break through to quantum. These are all of the processes that um, can really change your, your path. Lily says, I've always been like my own psychologist. I will sit and process all thoughts and feelings. 
that's good. We don't want to get into analysis paralysis. We definitely want it to be a process of creation for us, right? Um, I know a lot of us love to analyze and analyze, and that takes us into a state of self-sabotage, doesn't it? And grounding and centering. Kick ass. Well, this energy, do you feel this energy, Lily, in your throat? Do you feel that right there? What's going on there? I'm waiting for your response. Oh, there we go. We're clearing it a little bit. Let's see what comes through this deck. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I'm waiting to see a response. So we got the lover's card, okay, which can be just self-love or love to others, and some self-love, right, like a hermit, which is keeping yourself a little bit contained as you do some uh, self-development and tune into your own epiphanies, you know, your own epiphanies that are um, part of how you're going to guide and rule your experience and from a place of compassion, obviously. Um, abundance coming through for you, Lily, as you move through these um, and changes. Like we've got the, the tower, which is like everything falling apart to turn into new. So, um, yeah, this narcissist issue, I would, I would invite you to... Um, that's the main thing. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I would be grateful for the opportunity to grow and, and I would journal into it. I would journal into like, my throat is really tight. My throat feels tight because, and then go from there. Let me know what you get, okay? And if you're having trouble moving through those exercises, um, it's something that we can shift. Um, I, I've certainly had my journey to learning to write to myself in a way that is actually effective and isn't just make me feel like, Oh, I'm just writing stuff and nothing's happening. No, I'm writing it real time, changing the energy and real time seeing the result as in clients signing up right after I write in my book or people reaching out to me right after I shift my stupid idea about what it means, right? Yeah, don't feel scared about the tower. People always get scared and it's really, it's just new beginnings, right? Yeah, okay, there's gonna be maybe some alignment to happen, right? But through every misalignment that you come into alignment, there's what's on the other side of that process, right? <laughs> okay, thank you, Lily, so much. Um, Candy says, fear has two meanings, face everything and rise or forget everything and run. The choice is yours, yeah. Well, and fear isn't, it, it's a signpost um, and we can honor what it's, letting us know and sometimes it's an old story and sometimes it's an invitation it's an invitation to go deeper and to move through all right lily thank you so much um and then joanna and let's do kenisha since she's new and then joanna and i know jess asked for a card and then i'm probably gonna need to stop there hi kara So Kenesha, let's do Kenesha because she's been patient. Lily says, I think the Scorpio in me makes me crazy about writing. I like to do it all in my head, which is the Aquarius. Yeah, I think it's really very powerful to get it out and to um, process it through writing and art and expression. It just makes a big difference. You're welcome, Lily. I appreciate it. So Kenesha, are you still there? Where'd you go? Ooh, this throat chakra. I thought it'd be fun to come on for a morning coffee and now I'm like, ow. <laughs> I have to go to the beach to clear this nonsense. Obviously, if I'm resonating with it, I get to clear it for myself too, right? I wouldn't feel it if I wasn't still on some level clued in with you. That's why I show up every day. We're doing this journey together, whether you're in my free space or you're in my paid Valtopia sphere. Um, we are doing this together. And the more that you come into the Valtopia sphere, the deeper level of connection we have that we can release this stuff. Jess says, thank you so much for your time and energy you've shared with us. You're welcome. Um, 
Lily says secretive nature. Oh, like you're afraid to write. A lot of people have that fear of writing it down, don't want anybody to know. And um, you can burn them at the end. Oh, I know, Lily, everybody, for years on my live streams, I'm like the throat chakra queen. And it's because the passage, think about it, this is the blocking so many of us who meant to be messengers, artists, creators, visionaries from, you know, most of us are all up here, right? We're all up in our heads up here. And none of this beauty is coming down and grounding and manifesting. A lot of it isn't because we are need to open up this passageway. And that's what I'm here to do through my art, through my music, through showing up like this, through offering my transformational experiences, through offering this beautiful frequencies on my merchandise and my shop on Valtopia.com. Um, so many different ways. Um, oh, it's a Scorpio thing. Okay. All right. Kanisha's ready. Um, Somebody wrote something in a language I don't understand with a car. Who knows what it says? All right, let's do a little bit of toning here to clear this energy. Oh. I always laugh because I'm like, what do my neighbors think? Who cares? They make a lot of noise too, to be honest, all of them. Look at my face, it goes red when I do that. There's a lot of energy that comes through. What do you guys feel when you hear that tone? Okay, good, it's starting to shift. I'm a little bit more sage here. I'm so excited D-Lab starts. I'm gonna, I thought I was starting Friday, but then I realized it's good Friday. So we're actually not starting till Monday. It, like shifts are already happening, abundant checks and things coming in it's really kick-ass pure energy yes joanna all right so kenish are you ready you feel me tuning in and um you guys i just recorded a whole bunch of little newsletter fun things on my for my email list i've not really been active on there and we had so much fun with my team so i'm really i'm trying to look at the newsletter it's just another awesome way to connect with you with my energy and um, the frequencies that have come through me. So sign up for my newsletter. Um, thank you, Jess. Um, I'd love to, for you to receive the art and the toning and the goodness that way too. Um, and thank you for noticing I'm radiant, Jess. I've been working out every day and really doing my own inner work and um, shifting powerfully all the time, honey. It's a constant process. Nicole says, last week my cat was like, oh, what was that sound? I know, were you on the live stream, Nicole, when the dog was howling? <laughs> yeah, I wanna do meetups. I actually wanted, I was touring around for a little while and then my kids got kind of frustrated with me being gone all the time and I wasn't gone all the time. I was gone during the time they're with their dad, but um, it, it got tiresome for me too. So I just shifted the plan and I'm laying low for a minute, but I'm gonna start touring again. Look at this, the messages are the same. <laughs> Kenisha, the messages are the same. Did you listen to the other reading I did? Because almost all the cards are the same. I love it. So the only different cards you've got than the other reading I just did a minute ago are the sun and decluttering, decluttering. So let me tune in a little bit and see what we got here. Kenisha, let me know, let me know when you feel me tuning in. Tuning in, in. tuning in, in, in. I feel some third eye. There's some deception there going on. Like they're showing me like a stage and there's just sort of like this fronting going on. Jess, I'm from, o my family is from Oklahoma. My niece lives in Tulsa. I went to high school in Tulsa. Did you know that? So I sure will come to Oklahoma. My family, my mother and father um, are returning to Joplin today, actually. They live part-time in Joplin. So I can do a meetup in Oklahoma. I've never come to my high school reunion, but maybe I will sometime. <laughs> what do you think about that? Um, okay, so Kenesha... Do you hear me on this? Um, sort of this idea that like, like you're not comfortable to totally be yourself, there's a front happening. Yes, Soul Tribe, absolutely. Yes, I'm an Okie. 
I went to seventh grade through, I graduated, but I, I, went, I did a year of um, high school in France. I was a foreign exchange student, but most of the time I was there. I went to Union High School and uh, my niece still lives there and my uncle and Bethany. Okay, well yeah, I come to Tulsa sometimes. I still have friends that I love that live there. And I love, um, Jenny, I'm, I'm wrapping up because I've been on for a while and I gotta get on with my fitness and my day and my, uh, but I would love to, for you to watch the replay because the messages are the same. So Kenesha, the rest of the messages are meditation, so you can prepare to receive, surrounding yourself with positivity. I was talking about how we do life together because we otherwise we squirrel out on ourselves and we, we don't bring through what we've committed to and we lose our faith and we end up doing self-sabotage and things. So we surround ourselves in communities that really help us um, be together. The crown chakra, are you letting your wisdom come through for yourself by taking enough time to stop, slow down, and tune into the messages with self-love. And your ascension is coming through. You're rising up into yourself, getting to know yourself more deeply, letting all of you be more of your life experience. And this allows the challenges to be resolved in your favor. So how did that reading resonate for you, Kenesha? This throat chakra is you too. I feel it. I feel it. And how did that, I know you said you meditate every day, but you didn't respond to the what I saw in my third eye about fronting or not really letting yourself fully be yourself. How does that resonate for you? Because um, when we, I'm a performer too, and those of us who are messengers and are performers want to tap into that performer side, definitely we need to draw in more attention to do the impact that we're called to. And at the core of who we are, we want to feel natural and connected to our true essence and let that come through our performance. Does that resonate? That was good. That was good. So Kenesha, here's a question card for your journaling or your card pulls or your meditation. Ooh, I love this. Why do I like my body? Why do I like my body? Catherine says, Lily says, wear blue, eat blueberries, sing and speak your truth. You know why, um, Lily, everybody's throat chakra pops with me? That's my thing. I'm here to shine with you and bring out where you're not speaking your truth. Where are you not resonating as yourself? And not just the self that's acceptable to society. I'm talking about your divine, spiritually revolutionary rebel self, the one that is too much for everybody. Your unicorn, your beyond the beyond person. I'm here to help you express way more of that in your life experience. Everybody's tippy-toeing and dipping their toe in and then getting impatient because they're not seeing results and it's because you're not jumping all the way into the hot tub and letting yourself be fully yourself. You know, Kenesha says, I don't really show my gifts naturally. And that causes all this discrepancy and distrust of yourself. And then you feel uh, out of alignment and you, it's jarring. It's jarring not to be able to bring through what's natural, right? Um, Lily says, I think mine is some kind of creative setback. I'm trying to figure it out. Um, okay. Well, these are the kind of things we're exploring in the D-Lab. Um, Mark says, I don't understand anything I want to learn. Well, Mark, make sure you go back and watch the replay because I was really explaining a lot of this and you can watch any of my live streams. I show up free all the time. Jenny says, I've been loving blue, wearing blue, noticing blue everywhere. Blue is huge right now. I love it. Yeah. Now, when we say let those gifts shine, I say that too. And then know that, you know, as you begin to express who you are, some people aren't going to like it. And people are gonna tell you to be quiet or to sit back down. They're gonna try to shame you out of your shine, right? You're gonna try to shame yourself out of your shine. And it's important to know that, um, that despite those difficulties and, and, and in any way with the resistance, you will still believe in and back yourself and come through for yourself. And the more you do, the less that stuff will matter to you. The more detached you'll be from who you were and the more committed you'll be to who you are. And the experience, the D-Lab, thank you guys for asking. I'm gonna read this to you guys again. Those of you who've been on since the beginning, you'll be like, oh my God, here she goes again. 
but it's great. The D Lab is Dream Like a Boss. It's the first run Valtopia transformational experience for high achieving, highly sensitive, creative, sensitive, creationary, creative, visionary, badass boss leaders, creators, entrepreneurs, and world shifting messengers who deep down inside identify as rebels, dreamers, visionaries, starseeds, creators, and healers who are looking for solutions to mind fog, inability to make decisions, overload and overwhelm of your senses, confusion, distraction, and sabotage when it comes to healthy boundaries, too many ideas, not enough time, stellar traits in some areas of life, and blinding resistance to typical tasks of life, lack of consistency, commitment, visibility, impact, reach, self-awareness, subtle subconscious self-sabotage, cosmic connection, spirit guides, wanting more, empath energy mastery, releasing perfectionism and people pleasing, speaking your truth, meditating, grounding and centering, creatively expressing yourself fully and writing in your journal for powerful life changing results. That is what the D Lab is all about. It's six weeks with me virtually of daily connection, clearing, activation, integration and processes, tools and mindset shifts to bring yourself through all of what I just listed. Some of you may have been awake as a kid and then you shut it down, and some of you are just waking up to all of you, not just the part that society says you can be. And that discrepancy between what society has taught you you can be and who you really are creates dysfunction, and I'm here, and many of us are here, to help guide all of us back into an aligned, cohesive frequency that is so much more of who we really are and less of who we aren't. That's our purpose in life, is to be ourselves fully, bringing through this resonance of truth and love and compassion and creation and energy, not the old way that says, nah, keep that down, you might get hurt, you're gonna die, don't do that, keep it down, blah, 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 right? How does that resonate for you guys? Yeah, removing what doesn't serve and also having the recognition of what is serving that feels painful or difficult, pushing through the difficulty in a way like a boss, meaning, you're not just like, oh, and getting bruised. You're like, I'm learning from this and I'm becoming stronger from this and I'm getting through this and I'm taking on more and I'm uh, taking away what isn't for me and adding in what is and knowing. I'm knowing and choosing. Jess, you can totally be a part of it. There are payment plans. Um, the link is in the comments and private message me right now and I'll send you the link. They, they, Facebook wouldn't let me post a bit.ly link today. Um, I really want you to be a part of it. There's an amazing bonus today and everyone that enters, um, that buys is getting entered to win a print of this beautiful painting. Oh, let me tell you the story of this painting and then I want to see Kanisha's comment. This canvas I painted with my ex-husband and after things you know, went the way, we were trying to repair our marriage and try to make things better. And it, just, it was just a daily process of realizing, no, this is not working for him, it's not working for me. And we were igniting each other all the time in a very painful way. I'm an empath, he's more of a controlling, uh, narcissist type personality. Um, we triggered the worst in each other, which is perfect, because it helped us grow, right? Um, yeah, set up a group chat, do it. and. Um, and this painting was blue. You can see it in my old live streams. You can go and see it in the live streams. And um, yes, if a group of you know each other and wanna come in together and just please message me. And so I finally, I painted over it a few months ago and it didn't feel good yet. And I wrote this word safe because I came into awareness that I, I just, even though I had moved beyond this marriage where I didn't feel safe, and I had moved beyond the narcissist dialogue, and I had stood up for myself calmly and bravely, and I learned to talk strongly for myself, and I started my own business, and I started this healing business, and I started selling my work, and I made it through this divorce while building my business and taking care of my two kids, I still didn't feel safe. Okay? So then... I started painting over this and the other day, and this is finished now. The energy of safety of your sacral and root chakra, your solar plexus feeling grounded and protected, it's all in here, right? Yes, you guys, come in, come in, come in. 
If all of you guys join as a group, I'll make a special bonus for you. Mama Cat, you mean Cat Katrina, my mentor? I'm ready for you. I am ready for you. I love it. Come on. Oh, I'm ready for your mess, honey. I am ready for your mess. <laughs> because the mess to me, your patterns of distraction, you know, some mentors will say, don't come to me with that until you figure that out. Those high level mentors. I'm a high level mentor and I've been messy, confused and sabotaged time and again. I love to untangle and unravel and detach you from your mess because I see your shine. I see your soul. I see your creativity. I'm all about bringing that to the front. I love to clean up the mess with you. I'm not doing the work. I'm inspiring you. You do the work. I like your fire. I bring you back. You can cry. You can laugh. This will all shift you into a place of you. I want you to remember who the fuck you are because you're fucking amazing. There's nobody like you. Nobody can do. Yes, beautifully chaotic. I love chaos. You guys know I wrote a paper on chaos theory in my graduate school. I'm all about. I feel those of us who are doing the biggest shift in the world are chaotic. We are disruptive. And many of us that identify with me have been too nice and we're people pleasers because we're extremely sensitive and we need to take that empathy and that feeling and learn to be fucking boss about our boundaries and who we are and what we're here to do because the magic energy that's coming through us is vital. And if we don't learn to tighten up our boundaries, be firm in our integrity and channel through the magic, we'll just spin around in circles forever. Fuck that, I'm not gonna be a part of that. You wanna get on board with yourself and remember who you are and bring through your magic without question, no matter what your family situation is, no matter what your story is. I had to do it, so I'm not gonna fall for your story. I'm not gonna think less of you. I'm not gonna uh, um, buy into your stories of why you can't afford it or why you think you can't do it. Nah, I believe in you. And I'm gonna hold you up to your highest standard because I see it. And I had to do it for myself. So when you come at me with your excuses, I'm like, nah, I was in a marriage where I wasn't allowed to do anything. I had no time to myself. I got two kids with ADHD. I got, <laughs> they're six and 10, they're little. They're going through their stuff. I have physical pain issues. Nah, I did it. I did it. I'm doing it. So you wanna do it with me? Come on in the D-Lab. You wanna have excuses? Well, I'll see you on the free live stream for the next three years. And I do have people who follow me for years and like one of the D-Lab uh, clients watched me for two years and finally signed up for one of my programs and she her whole life has just shifted so you could do this all right let me read some of these comments I, I'm all fired up I love it you guys are like you're reflecting I'm reflecting back to you what's inside of you when you watch me and you're like oh my god she's so vital and vibrant I love it that's you being reflected back to you this is all a, you available for you you know let me see Kanisha said they don't like I've become a target, just being me and not trying. Yeah, when you shine and you show up, you, you might feel like a target. Remember, anything that's happening to us, it's our energy that's creating the response. This, was, this is one of the hardest things to learn. It's not outside of you. Everything isn't happening outside of you and you're like, oh, look what's happening to me. No, you have a, a thought process and an energy and a mindset that is, has been sent out already before we got to the point that we're talking to each other. And that's creating a response that's coming back to you that's happening for you. If that's your energy and that's what you created, look at it in the face. Oh, look at the lipstick on me. Look at it in the face and go, whoa, I don't like that. Let me shift this, right? Let me shift this. Um, Lily says your first live you were singing and dancing and I was I was instantly like that's a bomb energy. Thank you. Yeah, your inner being sent out. Yeah, that's not even your inner being is always there and is, is a different level. It's your fears, your emotions, your beliefs, your perceptions that cloud over your inner being, right? And project out what you're receiving. And when you don't like what's happening, it's happening for you. Because your inner being is like, nah, like pay notice that you didn't like that feeling. What's going on there for you to get into alignment? What's showing up for you to shift you more into being that inner being? Minus the judgment, minus 
the reaction to people saying bullshit about you, minus whatever uh, interaction with the narcissist. Do you see what I'm saying? This is so fun, I'm so glad I came on. I, I was like, I'm supposed to go to the beach first. I'm like, no, I'm supposed to come on and connect. There's people waiting to connect with me today. Um, Candy says, when others are talking down or bad about you, they're actually telling you what they think and feel about themselves. Pray for them to find self and love. Yeah, you don't even need to pray for the people. You just need to, um, you know, honor where they are in their journey and say, wow, what about that is, it's not even about, the, it is about them, but it's about you too. Like if you're resonating with that, then that's part of you that needs to be seen and heard that feels that and that energy wants to be loved and shifted. All right. So, you guys, I want to get on this, is this message, group message happening yet? Jess and everybody? Did you message me yet? Come on, let's get that started. Am I missing comments um, from the live stream? This music is so relaxing, honey. And this throat chakra needs clearing. I'm gonna be going to the beach to clear this and that's gonna come through the D-Lab too. And I'm, like I said, I'm going to the beach today to do um, a clearing. Do you hear that? Do you hear how much energy that was? Oh my goodness. Thank you everybody for liking my business page. Um, let's see. I'm looking to make sure I'm not missing any comments. That's painful, you guys. Okay, did I miss who is next on the reading? And who's signing up for DLab right now so that you can get the bonus of the um, the clearing that I'm, that I'm bringing through, releasing shame to receiving guidance, epic video rock star, all the downloads that are gonna come through. Do you guys wanna see the curriculum for the, that I wrote up for you guys? Check it out. This is what is happening in the group, okay? It's like a royalty-free um, jazz on the internet. Oh yeah, Joanna's next, okay, and Jess. All right, so check this out. This is the pre-work. We are in pre-work right now, and we are in a state of decluttering and prepping. And I already delivered through some light language and toning, and people who signed up already started having a response as soon as they paid the bill. That's how this works. Um, and then next week, we're going to start with the re re releasing shame to receiving guidance because so many of us that are sensitive can't even hear the guidance that's coming through for us because we experience such a triggered response of shame and pain. And so we're going to clear that energy from the body and clear the DNA. And then we're going to get into integrating and activating curiosity so that instead of having such a reaction to things, you're actually um, coming from a place of observation and you can actually help yourself move forward so much more rapidly. Then we're gonna get into activating your highest resonance. This is about energy management, discerning your energy versus others, and um, really allowing the clarity of what's really you and what's not you. This is such a powerful skill that will carry far beyond the six weeks that we spend together. And then we're gonna get into the energy of creation. Now that you're distinguishing between yourself and others, how are you, um, allowing that energy to, to manifest for you, right? And then we get into the process of really writing into creation your dreams and your goals. Now that you feel clear, now that you really feel like yourself, now that you let go of all these perceptions and judgments and beliefs of other people, um, how is that affecting the clarity of your choice now? Now it's gonna be so much more powerful and now you're actually gonna decide and call in what you want. And that's what the final week is, deciding and committing to your dreams and your goals. Now you're all clear, your energy's different, your mindset's different, you have a daily practice, and now at the end of the six weeks, we're gonna go into the next bit where you're actually like a manifesting king, queen. Isn't that awesome? You created the chat, but it made me use your personal profile. That's okay, you can click on my personal profile. I don't see anything. Oh, I see it. Yay. All right. All right. After the live stream, we'll get into it, okay? I'm excited. All right. Let's make, let's make this happen. There's no reason for us not to come together. That lighting is not. That's different. All right. 
So Joanna wants a reading and Jess wants a reading. The classes are, t everything is recorded, Nicole. Um, all of my audios, here's what happens when you get into like a several week experience with me. I put your name on a whiteboard in my kitchen. I, my energy, I'm all focused on you daily. Like right now in my kitchen, I have everybody's name and every time I go to open my fridge, there you guys are. And you will feel my, you, know, you feel me right now on the live stream. Well, you're gonna feel like I come, sometimes we come in your dreams, you come to me in your dreams. We're doing life together for a few weeks to shift the energy and perspective. And um, all of the live streams are, not only are they recorded into the Facebook, but I have a beautiful team now that are putting it all up on a ClickFunnel membership site. So I've invested a lot to professionalize my delivery. So you get everything in email on the membership site so you don't even have to go into Facebook and you can have it for, you know, posterity. Um, but, but the live streams and the frequencies are powerful and you'll just feel them, like things just happen because the energy is shifting. Um, and you can watch them as many times as you need. There's gonna be audios on SoundCloud, there's live streams, there's journal prompts, there's artwork, there's like so much coming through. It's very powerful. Um, Lily's trying to remember her cards. Yeah, you'll have to go back. I won't remember. Yes, we were brought together for a reason, Jess. I believe in synchronicity, synergy. I wake up daily wondering what magic is gonna happen, what are we bringing through today, and the more of you that I meet and we connect together, the Valtopia Sphere is my community, um, my paid community, and we grow together, we do life together, and we, we have a huge impact that we're designing with our experience. Even if we're just moms and we wanna change the dynamic of our relationship with our partners and our kids, or we are someone like me who I'm putting myself out there, investing my own money and sharing the message and awakening and it's magic, right? Yeah, it's neat what happens every day. Hi, I got. Okay, let me go and thank you, Nicole. I would love for you to be a part of it um, and get in on this group chat. If you guys all wanna work out something together, I would love it. I would love it. I would totally figure something out. Okay, so um, Kanisha wants to be a part of the group chat. All right. Um, Jess is guiding the chat. So let me see. I want to do Joanna and I want to do Jess. Let me do Jess since she's organizing. I'm not neglecting you, Joanna. Um, let me tune into Jess. Jess, are you ready? I love it. It's called Beautiful Chaos. There we go. We're clearing that energy. Jess, are you ready? Oh my gosh, I've been on for way too long. It's funny though, if I don't stay on long enough, then we don't kind of get into it. And people come and go and then the day goes by and people don't sign up and it's like, you guys are missing out. This is like a, an experience in time and it's tuned into the cosmic weather. We have a full moon on Friday. All this is guided to come in with the changes of the time. And the recordings that I've done early in this year release panic and um, fear in the chest and open up the heart chakra and open up the throat chakra and like there's all this stuff coming together all right thank you joanna you're so sweet all right jess oh we got stuff <laughs> jess there's your sign right there are you ready for personal growth sign up for d lab honey <laughs> i love it let me tune in too let me get rid of this and make sure this is you Jess, let me know when you feel me tuning in. There's a lot of electric energy, like you're really responding to me and this live stream and the excitement of change and um, of change and personal growth and um, shifting and um, your energy field is like electric. And you'll see maybe today you'll be more magnetic and things might happen more powerfully for you today, right? If you do, then I want you to take note of that. Don't ignore and bypass your soul guidance, right? Like we were talking about earlier in the stream. And look at this coming up for you. Oh my God, look at this coming up for you. 
why can I live in luxury? And why do I feel like I have extra money? Okay? Jess says, I was spot on, I feel you tuning in. And this energy is clearing here in the throat. So you're being invited to ask more for yourself, like to not limit and cap what you feel is possible, right? Your dreams are, your inspirations are real and you're allowed to have this growth. Um, so let's see what else comes through for you. And those of you that are asking for cards, I adore you. You're gonna have to come on the next live stream. I've been on for over an hour and a half and it's, um, unless you're thinking about signing up for D-Lab, Look at this, work-life balance needed, Jess. Um, yeah, I'm sure you did talk about it, Lily, because I always tune into what your energy is right now, right? I'm not reading your future. I don't tell you who, what, anything. I just feel your energy right now and let you know where there might be a block or what's coming up for you and the messages that's powerful right now. So um, work-life balance is needed. And in, in personal growth. So there's definitely a focus inward on honoring what's coming through for you, right? Jess says I'm gonna have to read into that more. All right, well, let me read from you from my deck because something said read from this deck. Yeah, like this is so thick right here, Jess, that it's almost even, I'm not even feeling your heart chakra. And I feel like as this energy clears and opens and you do some work to do some past life and inner child clearing, which is all stuff that we're doing in the D-Lab very powerfully, I'm, um, um, your heart chakra will open, you'll trust more, and that will allow you to pull in and call in more of what um, your, you know, the growth that you're calling for. How does that resonate for you? I love it. Okay, Jess, thank you. Open up that chat, go check out the D-Lab, y'all. Really, as a group, I could do something to, and there's payment plans, and it's six weeks with me. The cost that I put may seem overwhelming to some of you, and to some of you it might seem perfectly fine. Um, what I know is the value of what you're getting with, some people charge that much for a day session, and it's six weeks, six weeks. So, um, all right, Joanna, are you ready? Boop, boop, doop, boop, doop, boop, boop. Mm. And if any of you are watching this live stream or the replay and you're like, I gotta work with her, but I don't wanna be in a group experience, I do have a space for one weekly session and I have a couple spaces for um, twice a month for three months. Both would be three months. So if you wanna know about that, private message me. I have an application for that level of connection. Um, it's really powerful. In 90 days, your whole life could shift so much more radically into a space of faith, of depth, of expression. When you clear these old patterns and when you clear the childhood stories and when you tune more deeply into your faith and focus and clarity, it's amazing how the energy shifts for you. Just as it resonates very well. Okay, all right, Joanna. They keep saying fan the flames or fan, cool down, fan the flames, cool down. It's like, it's almost like, are you going between hot and cold? Yeah, I opened it up. Oh, let, yeah, other people want in on the group chat. Yes, I love it. All right. Oh, look, Joanna, you're being called to do some yoga and tune into the universe to find your balance between hot and cold, right? Does that resonate? Let's see what question card comes through. Yeah, you're being called to like kind of ground and do some stretching and get in your body. All right, let us do one question card. Oh, that went all the way. Yes, tune into your faith and your universal um, sense of being to tune into why are you capable? Why are you capable? How does that resonate for you? Mm -hmm. All right, I see the group chat going. I'm so excited. I would love for any of you who just watched this and know this is for you. You've got the scattered, busy mind. You're 
you're, you've done the work and you're opening up and you're like, why isn't this working? You feel impatient. Um, you, maybe you're not manifesting what, what you really know you've worked so hard to. Maybe you feel like you're doing so much, but it's not happening. Um, maybe you want to open up your clairs more and you want to have a deeper practice of spirituality that feels normal and nice and kick ass to you. Um, and you know, uh, perhaps you want to be in a community where you can show more of your spiritual side and express who you are. Um, and so these are all things that we're doing and, and, and it's not just like getting activated and cleared and then you move on with your life. It's like tools and tr practices and community that will take you further and further into fully expressing your truth, being who you are, opening up your clairs, and helping to awaken not only yourself, but those around you in your life. You'll have a complete shift in your life. So, um, oh, sorry, Joanna. I don't know, you'll have to, oh. Uh, who remembers what the card was? I don't know. Oh, why are you capable, Joanna? Why are you capable? All right, green, Jade, I'm gonna, green Jade, I'm gonna pull this um, question card for you. And please share the live stream and go like my business page as a thank you. I appreciate it. Um, oh, look at this. Green, Jade, Jade. Why am I service-minded and how do I feel when I choose to serve? Okay? All right. Good morning, Christy. Christy, Sophia. All right. Christy, um, honey, go watch the replay. It was good. I've been on forever. I'm going to log off. I want you to sign up for D-Lab if you haven't already. We start on Monday. The work has already begun. There's so much content in there. I'm taking old, I mean, not old, but um, clearings and activations from previous courses and s bundling them in there. You're getting a bonus of the um, a spot in the reboot when I run it again. Everyone is getting entered to win a print of this beautiful safe healing chakra healing painting i'm throwing it all out there this is good stuff you you can miss this one or catch it it's up to you i'm creating the experiences and the divine containers for us to expand together into our greatest sense of being and i want you to be a part of it so i'm loving this group chat i'm gonna go talk to you guys um own your frequency supernova there's a nobody like you what does the card mean? I'd like you to answer that question. Answer the question. How do I feel when I choose to serve? Answer the question. Joanna says, love and light. Thanks for sharing your energy and gifts with us. You're welcome. Thank you so much. Um, here, Jade to help, or Sophia to help you with your exploration of self. I'm gonna pull you another card to go with your, how does it feel, how do I feel when I serve? If you're having trouble answering the question, well, the D-Lab would be perfect. Burn it down. Your ego is getting in your way. Go to the beach. Enjoy a retreat and drink some water. I think those cards are for me. That's my soul saying, that's enough reading. You know what, Sophia? You're going to need to answer, tune into that and answer and come into my next live stream if you want a reading. Candice, I'm logging off. I've been on forever. Bless you guys. If you're not finding the answers, tune in, tune in and join me on my next live streams and um, own your frequency, Supernova. There's nobody like you. I'll see you next time. Sign up for D-Lab. Watch the replay. I want you, if you just got on and you want a reading, watch the whole thing. I'll see your commentary. If I see that you went through, I will pull a card for you until the end of this evening if I have time. No, until 3 o'clock. Then I'm going to be with my kids. All right, have a great day, bless you, see you next time.